Hello and welcome to part 6 of the input field exploits module. These are the few assumptions that I am working with. I am assuming that you have a prerequisite knowledge of following tools and software. If you don't, please check out the resources mentioned at the end of this video. This is our module structure and we are on part 6 that is cracking the shell and I had divided this part into two subparts and we are on the second subpart. So this is a payload execution flow. We have already aligned ESP above our shell code. We have taken a jump back and we have also added stage 1 payload shell code to our POC. Now all that remains is to generate the stage 2 payload shell code, make it available via web server and then let us stage on payload shell code, download it and execute it, which will then flood the target machine with terminal pop-ups and finally sends us a reverse shell back on the attacking machine. Now, in order to generate the stage 2 shell code, we will be using this command. So, we are using MS Venom tool and the payload that we will be using is Windows Metapreter Reverse TCP. These are the values for L host and L port that we will be giving and we will be specifying exit function as SEH and we will also be specifying bad characters as x 0 a and 0 t and we will need it in a MSI format. We will then store this MSI file into the web root directory of our Kali Linux machine which is located at var www and html directory. Now do remember that in this case we need not specify these bad characters but I have specified here for demonstration purposes. We will then set up a multi handler to listen to a reverse connection on port 4444. So let's move to the lab now. So on my Kali machine I will open a new terminal window and paste the payload generation shellcode command which is this as we saw earlier and run it so it says that the payload size is 371 bytes and it has successfully generated this payload so let's go to var or the web root directory in var sorry w html and now if I give the command ls and l you can see that ms.msi has been generated and in case if you see that it is owned by root root in both these places you can issue this command chown hyphen r www hyphen data and dot so this command will make www hyphen data user the owner of all these files residing in this directory. So now if I again issue ls-l, you can see that www-data is now the owner of all these files. So now why did we do this? Because in case this file is owned by root, there might be problems in accessing this file via web server. And now finally we will start our Apache server using service apache to start and our apache server has started you can verify it by using a browser and let's type here local post so if you see a page like this that means your apache server is enabled so i'm closing this browser for now and now let's set up a multi handler or first we need to run msf console I'm extremely sorry that I'm making a lot of typing mistakes here the reason for it is that I've been recording for last 3 hours straight alright so msf console has started and let's set up multi handler now and we'll write use multi handler and we'll set payload as windows interpreter reverse underscore tcp and we'll set the l host as 192.168.126.163 
which is the IP address of my Kali Linux machine and uh, we'll set the help port as help port as 4444 and now we'll run this multi handler these are the sessions from my previous test run of the exploit so let's ignore that and again run the multi handler on port 4444 so it's running now and uh, go back to our windows 7 machine first let's run the poc again to generate our final evil string let's copy this and go to our target application before that we need to set up a breakpoint at push esp instruction so we go to expression ok and place a breakpoint using f2 and then in the target application we go to details settings logging remove tenant.log paste our evil string press ok and ok and if you step into it it will first align the esp register take a jump backwards we land on the stage one shell code and uh, can then step into it or i'm just going ahead and run this shell code now so you can see that terminal pop-ups are appearing and our target is being flooded with these pop-ups and if i go back to my kali machine you can see that multiple metapreter sessions have been sent back that is because our payload is running in loop and it is downloading stage 2 payload and executing it again and again hence we have received these multiple sessions for metapreter and if you want to verify it you can verify it by giving a sys info command and you can see that this is the windows 7 machine that we were using for this exploit now if you go ahead or let's see now if the user goes ahead and terminates this application so i did that by terminating immunity debugger in this case our shell is still open which you can verify by issuing any command here again and you can drop into the system shell as well and if i give the command ip config so this is the ip address of the target machine and let's verify it from here we already have the one window open so let's use it and if i issue con ip config here you can see that this is the same ip address that we got here cool and if you want to exit in this system shell you can simply type exit and you will be sent back to the metapreter shell and if you issue help command of metapreter you'll see a lot of cool commands so one of them is get system using which you can get root access or system access to the target machine if the techniques work so in this case none of these technique works hence we have not been able to obtain the system access to this machine still go ahead give these commands a try and try to have fun with the access that you have from my end that was all for this module so i hope you had fun and learned a new technique of creating exploits and i'll see you soon in the next module if you want to learn more about the tools software or techniques that we have used in this module check out these resources these are excellent resources to get you started with exploit development a quick note before i close this module i have set up a discord server for all my courses and you can join that server using this link using discord you can reach out to me directly and you can ask your questions or queries directly and i also regularly share resources on the server so make sure to get the most out of these courses you join the server and there are a lot of other people there who also share their experience and resources with the community thank you for watching this video and congratulations on completing this module and i'll see you soon in the next module